Right, baby, where are we today? Lidl today. Why? 50% off, you've got to have a look. 50% off everything in the middle aisles, folks. So we thought we'd just pop along and have a look and just see what it is. Have a look, look, we've got baby Frank with us. How much are they normally? That's eight quid, I'm getting it. Eight quid, instead of what? 17. 17 quid? Yeah, apparently it's 50% off, Sharon, all the marked prices. So whatever it says up there, half that price. you've got half that price and it yeah. says when you get to the till. Yeah. But Baby Frank, there's some cars around here, Sharon, for Baby Frank. Frank, do you want a car? Okay. You want a car? Okay. Show him around here, Sharon, they've got some Matchbox cars that are uh, half price. He loves a car, you see, folks. So that's, uh, that's three and a half quid each, which is pretty good. Look, if that's six ninety nine, that'll be three and a half quid each, wouldn't it? You want them? These are matchbox ones though, Sharon. Oh, look at them ones, look. You like a fire truck, look. Do you like them? Sit down. It's funny how he does what he's told when he's got something he wants, yeah. We get him two of them. Sit down, Frank. Good boy, you don't want this. He don't want this anymore, look. Let's have a look at another set up here, look. Let's have a look. See what we got here for him. Again, all matchbox, they're all licensed uh, products there, look. Let's have a little look over here. Here's a nice one for a little mini there, Sharon, look. Do you want that one as well, Frank? Go on in, sit down. Sit down, good boy. Yeah, apparently this sells on till Friday, Sharon, and today is um, Tuesday, but unfortunately, when you see this video, it'll be Sunday, so that'll be finished. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all over Facebook, Sharon, isn't it? Yes. So whatever the price you see, it's half price apparently we're only halfway around at the moment oh that's soft isn't they? fleece jacket for men yeah yeah oh yeah. do you like them frank yeah do you want them you want them okay. yeah you like a car don't you okay. starting to see things empty out here folks look as you can see as i say today's only tuesday but um I'll come here to look for some of the tall stuff. I think we've done it all and I think a lot of it is gone. What have you got there, Sharon? Nothing, I'm putting it back. Putting it back? What is it? How much was that then? Don't know. Don't know. All the tools are gone, Sharon. A lot of the tools are gone. Can't be surprised, can Well, as I say, it's only Tuesday at the moment, but again, it depends on what store you go to and visit, doesn't it? Why are you saying that? He's got loads of stuff there he's bringing out in a minute, they're unloading. Are they? unloading all the time. So, as I say, this is the one in the Skeggy, folks. We was going to go to the one in Boston, but we went down the East Coast Meats to get some bacon. You got police cars? No, Nino. Nino's. Nino's. Good boy. Hello. So there's a lot of uh, clothing sort of stuff left. But the tool section here only appears to be here. Look, just this little bit here. And uh, there's not really stuff that I'm interested in here, to be honest with you. Just sort of paper scrapers. I've got these Dremel kits down here, I suppose, look. They're 19 pounds odd. They're Parkside uh, stuff. So you get that for half price. So a tenner, basically, which I suppose is pretty good. Dad. What, mate? Dad. What? Dad. You got cars, yeah? Yeah, there's not a left, left, lot left here. I've got one of them, so... Not really worth me buying one of them. Hey? Hey? Four. Four what? Have you got two? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good boy. Okay. No. So, yeah, we don't really shop in Lidl anymore, shall do we? No, Tesco's now. Yeah, we sort of do Tesco's now, but, um, yeah, a little bit disappointed with that. I thought it would be a lot better than that, Sharon. You got me here when it first started, haven't you? Yeah. So, we just do a little bit more in here, folks, and I think there's nothing really for us. Oh, well, that was a bit of a letdown, shall we, wasn't it? Make a letdown, but there you go. Yeah, never mind, folks. So it depends on uh, what day you go, I suppose, and um, also what out at Lidl you go to. So, um, anyway, time to move on. We'll see you in a minute. Hello, everybody. It's bloody cold. It's bloody cold, and we are. Should have swore, where should are we, Shell? York. We're in York again, folks. We're going to have a little walk around. It's the Christmas market time. So, uh, let's get going. It has been raining, it's cold, it's windy. Not my favourite weather combination, shall? Nope. But we're here 
for you lot. Even the dogs have got their coats on. Enjoy. Well, this is a place we never visited the no. uh, uh, last time we come, Sharon. Thanks, we wait for a cold, wet day to go we have. an outside place. So this is the York Museum Gardens. It's open daily between 9am and 6 You don't have to pay to come in, Sharon. It's a freebie. So let's get in there. So, Shao, this is probably a nice place to walk in the summer, isn't it? Yeah. So, in the winter, there's not really much here. We've seen people walk in. There's a building um, open there. We could go and have a look and see yeah, what that is. They thought that this was to do with the Christmas market, which obviously it isn't. So, um, if you really want the proper market, we'll be visiting that very shortly. But we'll have a look down here because there's a, a big royal looking building here, Shao. Yeah, we're going to explore. Let's have a look at that. Oh, York, York, oh, Yorkshire Museum. Oh, it's the Yorkshire Museum. Not sure whether you've got a pay to get in there, but we'll have a look. So just coming up to the museum now, and we've just seen this great big, um, what looks like an old cathedral, Sharon, or church or something. Mm, yeah. Over here, let's have a quick look at that, look. That looks absolutely fantastic, folks. Well, oh, that's got paid to go in the museum. There's your prices oh, is there, it? yeah. Let's just have a look then, because we won't be going in there, shall we? No. But for those of you who do want to venture inside there, there's the um, admission costs for all types of uh, individuals. Right, well, we know that's free over there, shall we? Let's take a walk over there and have a look at that um, building there to see exactly what that is. So it looks like, shall we? We're just walking up to this building. It looks like there was some sort of a pathway here and some steps leading into it. And it looks like there was some sort of wall here or yeah. perhaps an outer wall here or columns which has been sort of chopped down. It goes ar around over to there, as you can see, look. Well, this maybe, could be the inside. And maybe round to that it? wall there. Yeah, they may might have been the internal walls, perhaps. Let's go and have a closer look. By Come looking on. at that arch over there, Sharon, look. Mm. That looks like that was a, an, ex, an, an end of building. Oh, no, hang on. I can see a bit of wall through there. So this must be the outside. Right, well, that might have, have been an entrance. Let's have a little look, yeah. We're looking for a plaque, for, folks, to find out exactly what this was. But I would imagine now we're on the, the inner wall. Oh, no, it's a cemetery. Oh, is it? There. Yeah. Oh, that's strange, How old it? is that? Let's see if I can see. Go and have a look. Be careful, baby. Oh, see if there's a date on it. She's gone straight across the old mud there. Oh, we can just walk around the outside, shall we? 1849. No, because I want you to read this. Look at this architecture here, folks. Look. Look at this, look. You all right there, baby? Yep. I'm just looking at the thickness of them walls, Sharon, and how they were possibly made. Look, they've been infilled. Yeah. Instead of having a cavity, they're solid walls, which have been infilled with other rocks and uh, cement, yeah. maybe. And looking right at the top there, look, you can see there's some sort of walkway up there, look. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? So just coming around to the side of it, folks, this is the outer side edge of it. And you can probably see there that it looks like it's joined onto that church at the end there. There's a wall that joins the two together. And it looks like that might have been some sort of courtyard cemetery, Sharon. Yeah, it look, yeah, it's definitely a cemetery there. See if we can get around to the church and see get, exactly what that was around there. Bit? Yeah, oh, have yeah, a little look, go around there, baby. Right, so we've just come down this pathway now. We're moving down towards the uh, where the church is. And look Sharon at that says, tree. Hey, look at that tree. That's an unusual tree, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah look at that, folks. Look, it's like a Harry Potter film. Harry Potter sort of mm. tree, sort of thing. Yeah. So we've got a placard on the wall over here, shall look? Oh, it's John Phillips, FRS, 1800 to 1874, Yorkshire Philosophical Society officer and first keeper of the Yorkshire Museum, lived here between 1839 and 1853. And that way he's got a blue blue placard, Sharon. There you go. And what we found out here, so this we is are the grounds. Here at St Mary's Lodge. Yeah, that's the grounds of the um, the inner sanctum of the museum gardens there, folks. Yeah. Look. So there is quite a lot to see there. We're not going to be able to see any of that. You've got to pay to get in now. This is called St Mary's Abbey Church, which is where we are now. And beyond that, you've got the uh, King's Manor, you've got the uh, art gallery, all this sort of stuff, all around there. So nice to view in the summer, Sharon, but not for us in the winter. So we know that was an abbey just gives now, don't people we? an idea yeah. of what's here, doesn't it? So just coming out of another entrance, not the one we went in, folks, you see these little pews here, Sharon, yeah. look. 
and you've also got this uh, little door which is the St Mary's Lodge entrance there I don't know what that is whether someone lives there or not I'm not too sure but um, I bet that's the office it's how got... many people Sharon over the years have sat on them little yeah. pews there and just turning around here what you just pointed out just outside this entrance folks look at that little narrow house there look three-story house with a, a fourth story actually it's got a basement down there Sharon oh, yeah. your yeah. Vic house yeah there you go. But built 17, oh, it goes on, not built 1750. There you go. And also, Sharon, I would imagine York is being a very haunted place, one of the oh, most haunted yeah. places in the UK, folks. And as we mentioned before, there's plenty of uh, ghost going? tours on here as well. What's that? Look. Is this the church that backed onto it? That's that bit there, and then yeah. on the other side. There you go. I'm just looking up there, people. Can you see the, um, let's zoom into it, the gargoyles up there, look. And I've always wondered what gargoyles were for. To have something as grotesque as that on a sort of a church, a house of God or whatever. And apparently it's to stop the evil spirits entering. There you go. Right, let's have a look up here then. Sharon says we've got to have a look in here. Look how old this is. So Olive's church. Look at that. Wow. For a cold old church, it's quite warm in here. It is warm in here, Sharon. Yeah, moving with the times, folks. Look, if you want to give a donation, just do a wireless tap there and uh, you can leave a donation. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Very historic. I wonder how old this church is. I don't know, but I think it's time yeah. to move on, baby. Well, that's a nice little picture card uh, site, Sharon. That yeah. round building there with them... Uh, bricks on show there and also just below it is one of the old uh, telephone boxes show let's go have a look see if it you still see works they've been painted silver up the top look let's have a look look at the state of it folks you don't see many of these about now or they've been converted it's got a phone in let's have a look see if it still works sharon oh minimum fee 60p minimum fee 60 pence be careful yeah dialing tone yep yeah, 60p to call someone now. Unbelievable, now. isn't it? So used someone, to be 2p. Someone used to empty them, but yeah. uh, someone's still got to probably come around and empty them. There yeah, you go. No touch phone in there, no, cards and or nothing. No, don't touch it either, Sharon. Well, I did. So we've not even reached the centre yet, but we found this little shop, folk. Look at these, look. They all look dried like, fruit as well. All homemade cookies and biscuits and stuff in there. Look at that, look. Oh. You don't see shops like this anymore, Sharon, do you? Oh, Turkish delight. Is it? Yeah. And it's not open at the moment, it's yeah. open Monday to Saturday apparently, but um, 7.30am to 8pm. Should be open. Yeah, but look at these old type sweets. Remember them cola cubes, Sharon? But look yeah. at the size of them ones, look, they're massive, aren't they? All homemade sweets, I love that, look, they're massive. No, and that's Turkish Delight, love. Oh, is it? Yeah, pomegranate delight, all Turkish delights. Homemade as well. Yeah, look at that. Little biscuits there, look like humbugs, look. No macaroons, baby. I'll get it right one day, won't I? I'm just going by what I see, folks. See what you see. If you see it, say <laughs> <See> it. <laughs> right, let's get a move on, baby. Just got to another window, folks, and just having a look at that house there. Look at that. Four and a half million for that one. Look at that. When I that, like that one. Two, oh, oh, two oh, million for I'll that one that there. Look at that, look. And that one in lovely there. Look at that, look. 2.5, 2.2, two, two and a quarter million, that one, look. They're lovely, baby. They are. Let's move on, shall we? We can't uh, afford no. that. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> So we just moved on a little bit further and we're on our way now, shall to the inner wall. Yeah. But you get these sort of brick walls here and then nothing. It's like the whole area was demolished to make room for the uh, the main roads coming through and stuff like that because that's the original inner walls there, look. But look at them on top of that wall there, look at them statues. Yeah, whatever they are. What but, they've uh, seen. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on our way now to the inner wall, which, cause don't forget, York is circled, uh, the, the main part of York is actually circled with the, 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 the wall going right the way around and you can actually walk around the perimeter of the wall as well. But we're not going to be doing that today. No, we've done we, that last time. We, well, we walked around part of it, Sharon. You got a bit frightened, didn't you? And I don't, not wet and slippery, no way. No, it will be slippery as well. But we're at a place called Bootham Entrance, which you can see up there. And just over the top there, let's go back again. That's the entrance we're going to be entering in. And just sticking out the top there, which I don't know whether you can see or not, is the York Minster, which we couldn't go in the last time we was here, no, could they we? Were filming, because they were they? doing some filming in there. We wanted to film in there, they wouldn't let us in, but it was the uh, filming a film or something, weren't they? Yeah. Anyway, let's get inside and see what it's all about inside the wall. Yeah. 
So as you can see there, this plaque marks the site of the Porta Principalis Dextra or Northwestern Gate of the Roman Fortress, of which the foundations was rebuilt circa AD 300, Sharon. Yeah. 300 years after Christ. Like just beneath the ground. Yeah. So, yeah, down there, their original fortress was just below there, and this is obviously the one that was rebuilt maybe in AD 300, Sharon. But look, they even had jail locks in. They had jail <laughs> They even had jail locks in. Things you spot, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, let's Ooh, get through it. Oh, look at that. That's like something out of oh, Harry Potter, nice. isn't it? Yeah, that is like, like yeah. mystical, Sharon. You expect, um, Someone to be Hagrid in there with a magic wand. Who? Hagrid. He wouldn't go through that door, Sharon. No. So this is the uh, York Minster again, folks, which we couldn't get into the last time. Oh, it's still so. And there is a, a, a queue there, Sharon. I'm not sure whether or not you um, have to pay to get in, though. Well, we're going to have a look. We're going to have a look and find out. But uh, this is it, folks. Well, we found the uh, information we needed, Sharon, and it's not looking good, is it? £16 to go into a church. Where does it say that? Oh, Lord, your residents are free, so they should be. Yeah. But you should make a donation if you want to go into a church. Yeah, that's right. So you've got to pay as an adult, or even a senior, yeah. £16, £14 for students, children 17 and under, free of charge. York residents are free, so, um, yeah, it is really... But the yokel. So, <laughs> would you have to go in if you wanted to pray in the, ch the chapel? Well, there you go. I'm not too sure, Sharon. There you go. But it's a fine building. I understand upkeep, but you should make a donation. Yeah. Un unbelievable, Sharon. But we won't be going in, will we? Unfortunately. No. But there you go, folks. That is it. We uh, did look at it before, but um, we weren't allowed in. But this time, we can't go in because we're not going to pay sixteen pounds. We come here to go around the market and have a look around there, and that's what we're going to be doing. But we showed you this because we like it anyway. So if you don't want to pay to go in there, or you can't afford to pay in there, just across the road there, Sharon. Yeah, that that's one. where we went in before, which was that um, yeah. church over there, which was very interesting as well, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. So that didn't cost any money to go inside. Or oh, that so. church we've just been to, which was beautiful yeah. inside. Maybe worth a visit, folks. So as we've shown last time, Sharon, this is a different one though, isn't it? We had a little look, and yeah. uh, there is again the multi-award-winning ghost trail, equity qualified. That means it's obviously someone theatrical, maybe I don't know. But uh, they start at 7.30 every night at the Minster, which is where we are now, at the West Doors. So just looking over there, folks, that's the uh, Minster there. So okay. I'm not too sure what the West Doors are, but uh, it'll be very near there, Sharon. Train? We didn't come by that train either. What's that? Oh, a little tourist train It's from there. the Railway Museum every 30 minutes. Oh, right, OK. Right, well, let's walk down here, Sharon, and uh, see what they've got to offer in the Christmas market at York. Yeah. Guy Fawkes was born here. Yeah, look at that, folks. We didn't know that, look. Gunfire, Guy Fawkes, born here in 1570, hung, drawn and quartered in the city of London on the 31st of January, 1606. And that is this building here, which literally just lays oh, it's off it's called of Guy Fawkes Inn. The, uh, the Minster. And what's it called? Guy Fawkes Inn. It's actually called, oh, of course it is, yeah, look. There you go. We never noticed that before, Sharon, no. did we? Wow, it looks there so old in there as well. Yeah. I'll tell you what. What's the food like here? The fish and chips, those old prices look 18 25 What's that door? So a starter. There we go. Just looking down there now. Guy Fox steak pie, 20 pounds virtually, Sharon, look. Oh, yeah. Christ. And you're safe by the bell, baby. Yeah. 10 pounds. What, 10 pounds on this one? Yeah. This one isn't free then? No. Oh, Martin, well. nothing's free nowadays. Well, I thought the other one was. That's the same walk, isn't it? No, it's a different one. That's uh. Trevor Rooney's first and oldest walk, look. Yeah, but that walk had a um, QR code. Of course it did. Anyway, let's have a look down there, shall Found? Hector Keenan once travelled through the Russian circus accompanied by a fellow performer, Oleg the Magnificent, 
through her spectacular highway act made her a star as she is for something more and found it, not in crowds and fame, but in a humble cottage by the sea of her beloved Whittington, Dick Whittington. What, is that a real cat? No, that's not a real cat. So you just read that for nothing then? No, I read... I thought it was a real do, cat stuffed or something. I think that story of the cat. Oh, right. What, like Dick Whittington then? Catina, that's, if you look there, there's also a picture of that cat. Yeah, but it's not a real picture, sure. It's not a photograph. I thought you were showing me a real cat that had uh, been stuffed or something. Oh, no. <laughs> What's that oldie worldie shop over Harrogate here? Harrogate Tipple, do you want did we, some? Did we look at there before? No. Let's go have a look at that then, shall we? That looks uh, oldie worldie, doesn't it? I'm sure we stuck our head in here before. We didn't. Did we? You're thinking of the potion shop, the goat shop. Am. Yeah. Look at that, that's lovely, isn't it? Nice when they do them out for Christmas like that, Sharon, isn't it? I think it's done like this all year. <laughs> yeah, probably is. <laughs> probably is. What's that say at the top there, Sharon? Ye old Starry Inn. Look, on that banner going across the road there. Oh, yeah. And where is the old Starry Inn? Is I it here somewhere? Know. It's hiding. Yeah. Lovely to come and walk down here and look around, folks. There is literally so much to see, and it's nice to see people shopping again, Sharon, isn't it? That's it. Not doing it online via Blinking Amazon. What about that shop? Oh, the Viking shop. Show, look. Have you been looking at the evil eye? Look. It's a cocktail bar. Look at that. That's very uh, 60s, isn't it? And retro. Look at that. Look. Oh, there it is, Martin. Down there, Sharon. Look. The evil eye. Look at that. Look. What's that, Sharon? The old Star Inn's down there. The old Star Inn. Let's look at their menu. Yeah. What are they doing there? Things are quite dear, are they? Well, they're better prices. That's a vegetarian burger there. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. So start sharing platters. Thirteen pounds oh, or whatever. Thirteen pounds. That's, that's about, more realistic. Yeah, that's I'd pay that. Right. I'd pay that. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on, Sharon. That Viking shop there. Where? All oh, suits of armour and all that. Look. Oh yeah. Go on, Shad. You want Merlin. a suit of armour? We get something for Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> look, suit of armour for him. Look at that. I don't think Darth Vader was there. Shad. He must have time travelled there. Oh, we've got to go in here. Come on. Well, go on in. Wow, doesn't it smell oldie worldy? It's incense, look it burning, smells, yeah. yeah, it smells mystical, doesn't it? Look oh, at look at them globes, Martin. You like them, I don't like you? a globe, yeah. What are they called? What, snow globes? No, not snow globes, but these... Crystal balls? Like the paperweights, aren't they? Paperweights, yeah. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Look at this, folks, look. Little suits of armour in here, look. Right, let's have a little look through here, shall we? Look at all this mystical stuff, look. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? All your Star Trek memorabilia, and you can get all your masks up there as well, Sharon. Mm. Hey? Star Wars. Yeah. It's not just um, military sort of stuff. It's um, what's that? Water bomb. Oh no. It's uh, sort of mystical, isn't it? Sort of stuff. Yeah, very fantasy in there, Sharon, isn't it? Yeah, that's a shop you don't see every day. Yeah. I don't know, it's a York, yorkamori.com, there you go. Oh well, let's move on, baby. I think the last time you was uh, we was here, Sharon, mm. you looked in that shop over there, which was the Christmas shop, and oh this time God, now, yeah. it is Christmas. So I we need walk, to walk past we, it. I know, that's what I'm saying, you normally home in on that sort of stuff. Yeah. Now it is the right time of the year, but it's like this all year Look. round. Look at this stuff, folks. Look oh. at that. Look. Oh, look at that. Now, the last time we was here, Sharon, there was a Paddington Bear in the window. I was just looking to see it if looks he's like still he there. Might, he might have been sold, Sharon. He's not there, is he? He might be in there. He might be in there, an old teddy bear shop. Look at that, folks. It's my sort of shop. Right, so that was Stonegate, folks. We've just come down. We've come all the way down there. And now we're at a crossroads junction. And yep. that, over there is Betty's Cafe and Tea Rooms, which has always got a queue outside the front of it. Still got a big queue today. We haven't done it, but um, there I'm is not, a queue outside, I'm isn't there? queuing. I'm sorry, it's too no, cold. No, but it's quite dear in there, I think, yeah. isn't it? But anyway, where should we go now, baby? Straight down. Right, let's go down there. Because this is where you tripped last time. Oh, right, of course it was. And I damaged my ankle, folks. 
walking oh, yeah. on these cobbles for about three months, believe it or not. I couldn't walk properly out of the Achilles Hill issue for three months. But that's that Betis there, look. And as you can see, it's got a very long queue to get in, so uh, expect to wait about an hour before you get in now, I would imagine. Anyway, we're going down here. On you go, shall? It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I... So we're at the middle now, Sharon. We just noticed that we've got a, a, a sign here just to let you know exactly where you are. And the shambles is that way. And that's where we're going to head, Sharon. Let's go then. On you go. So what we've got over there, Sharon, look, traditional roast beef, Yorkshire pudding and potatoes. Pretty Market sharp. vegetables there <laughs> for £15.95, which isn't too bad. No. That's when we walked in and walked out of last time. Oh, was it? Yeah. What was that? I can't remember now. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Hope you're enjoying this little walk with us, folks, because uh, we know a lot of you can't get out and uh, visit places like this, so... Hopefully you're enjoying the walk with us. Hi, Sha. Yep. So just coming through now to the uh, the shambles, folks, which is well known all over the world. That's the main place people visit here. We're at King's Court at the moment, formerly Coney Garth, as you can see up there, and we're now entering the shambles. Yeah, and there we go. Still a queue for that shop, look. Yeah, this is the uh, queue we saw last time. Was it to the uh, wizard shop, shall I say, wasn't it? Your ghost shop. The what? Ghost shop. The ghost shop, folks. Yeah. yeah These are the uh, lovely pork pies. That, they look uh, nice. Steak pie, look. It does look lovely, doesn't it? it smells nice. And it does smell it? nice, folks, if we had smelly vision here. Yeah, we're still not sure what the draw is to that shop there. Just over there, the ghost merchants. Look, York ghost merchants. But it gets a hell of a lot of people queuing. Always a queue. I would like to have seen this, Chef. If it would have snowed. Oh, yeah. Hey. It's picture card stuff, isn't it? Letting you have a full walk down the shambles, folks. Looking at these old buildings, which we did before, Sharon. All sort of leaning into the roadside, eh? It's that little church down there, wasn't there? Yeah. shortcut through to the marketplace there. It's just so picturesque. And just coming out of the end of the shambles now. You've got the Shambles kitchen there, which we didn't eat in before we was going to Shab, weren't we? Yeah. Well, oh, it's just starting to rain. And yeah, we've just come through there. Oh, hello. If you've got a bit of a unease about you walking along, folks, the pavements are very, very un uneven down there, aren't they? Well, there's that old pub there, look, the Golden Fleece. Yeah, and that's the haunted one, isn't it? So just over there, that's the Golden Fleece, very haunted pub, yeah. apparently. And um, looking at that, main beam there on that uh, building there but we looked at before shall we? not it yes yeah, well bowed isn't yeah. it right so we've just come down coney street there we had a cup of coffee didn't we in yeah. the little little shop there we have realized that it's so dear shall we not it but it's york isn't it yeah you're looking at about 
sort of five pounds for a, a, a filtered coffee. So uh, how much was that in there for the coffees in that one? Eleven pounds something. Yeah, and all we had was one sausage roll to share between the two of us. That was three pound fifty. So yeah, expect to have a nice a, sausage roll though. A bit of a spend up share if you uh, come here. So as I say, we've just come down Coney Street and we're now standing at uh, St Helens Square. And uh, this is like a, well, again, like a little square there. And it's right on the corner of where the ivy is, Sharon, isn't it? Shall I go and see how much coffee is on there? Yeah, I would imagine that's quite dear in there, Sharon, Let's because uh, look. we've looked through the window and it's all sort of oldy weldy in there. Let's have a little look here. Oh, there's no drinks on there. No. So what is the, uh, wait, 8 95 and oh, yeah. £10 for a starter. Your main meal, supreme chicken with truffle sauce. The Ivy Classic Fish and Chips, which is um, a 1917 beer batter with mushy peas, stick cut chips and tartar sauce. That comes in well, 18, beer would have gone off, wouldn't it? 18 pounds, 95 pence. And we like to compare a pie. Is there a pie down here, shall we? Oh, I see ribeye. Oh, 37 pounds for ribeye steak. Is it really? No. So we won't be going in there, but the chips, the side orders, chips is, Five pounds fifty there. So Do you think it's where they're all piled on into a little square? Probably in a little square, yeah. yeah. No, thank you. Nah, so we're moving on, folks. Anyway, but uh, yeah, this is a nice little square show, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little area. And again, at the background there, we've got this lovely old, uh, like church or chapel in the background. Yeah, the there. bell's just gone off there, isn't it? And you've also, what I, what I like to see, show is the old um, little chimneys and the old houses, the yeah. higgledy piggledy houses at the top there. Anyway, that's where we are, folks. Right. Shall we have a little walk, shall we? We've done yeah, about 5,000 steps at the moment. So, again, we're outside Betty's at the moment, which is just literally on the corner of that square. And uh, you've had a look for a price of coffee in Betty's. How much is that? £6.25. Right, move on, shall we? Keep walking. Still a big queue there, folks. Look. <laughs> yeah, so come in here for a day. You're definitely going to spend a few bobs, aren't you? Oh, easy. But uh, you can do what we're doing and just walk around and have a look at stuff. Are we actually looking? We are looking, baby. I like to stop and look. Of course you do. <laughs> It's Flying Santa. Oh, look at the price of them watches. Only seven and a half grand, shall we? Right? Yeah, but there's nothing special about them, is there? It is. They're seven and a half grand. What's the make? Nav timer, isn't it? Brett, Nav. Brettling. Brettling. Don't know. Brettling. There you go. That mean a thing to me. <laughs> just coming over here, look. Just walking towards the main market again, folks. Just this little um, sort of alcove here. Look. There's gravestones here. They're sort of stuck in the middle of between. Oh. Well, shops basically. Look, you've got shops that side. Look you've got that, another cafe Nero that side. 1776. Hey? Wow, look at that. Yeah, what's that say there? Hick Jasset. Angula Peckett. Obituary August 21st, 1776. AE. It could be age 86, maybe. I don't know. Could be. Isn't but it's written in oldie, oldie worldy English, yeah. isn't it? Wow, look at them. Something you don't see, isn't it? Gravestones in between shops. Yeah. Yeah, just looking, mate. I thought you were filming. He said, I thought you were fast as I am. That's a nice show, isn't it? Mm. Just Cafe, went to that look. stall show. I was all, all past that stall with them um, little snow globes and little things. I says, you all right, mate? I says, yeah, I'm fine, mate. He said, oh, I, know, I thought you was filming. I said, I was. He just pointed to a sign with a picture of a camera on with a line going through it on his stall. So you can't film his stuff on his stall. It's like you've got something to hide when you can't film. Unbelievable, isn't it? Not to knock to me, there's cameras around here all over the place, yeah. yeah. Anyway, well, let's not let that spoil our day, shall we? No, it's not. So you've got the Nutcracker Christmas shop there, and just over there, you've got the shop that must not be named, Sharon. Park me broom. Probably something to do with Harry Potter, I would have thought. I would have thought so, yeah. Should we go and have a look? No. No? All right. Just coming through to the main part, it's just back on the shambles again. It's obviously something to do with that, Sharon, look. Yeah, and it's there, On both it? sides yeah. of the road, isn't it? It's Harry Potter, isn't it? Eh? It is Harry Potter, there's all the scarves yep. inside. So 
So we're back on um, the Low Petergate Road again, and um, there we've got the uh, York Rush, which, which we never had before, Sharon, did we? That looks very nice, actually. It did actually. look very nice, but we did go into um, Drake's. Drake's Fish and Chip Shop over there, which was very, very tasty yeah. and very nice. Let's just have a little look in the look middle Look at that there. crackling. Well, oh, that's what you call crackling, isn't it? Yeah. That does look superb. We did see another one a bit further around, Sharon, didn't we? Yeah, it didn't look too good. No, but that looks absolutely What is fresh. it? Let's have a look at the prices. So you've got your roast dinners here. Sarnies you can have. Yep, the full roast dinners. A wrap. £10, £10.75. Oh, you've got beef, pork, turkey and ham there. So the dearest one there looks like £10.75 for the beef one there, Sharon. Oh. Which ain't too bad. And even the tea, if you can get a cup of Yorkshire tea there, for only £2, Sharon. We didn't know, did we? No, we, we would have come, come in here, that's right. It's even the coffee's £2.50, look. You live and learn, Sharon. There anyway, we go. Not dinner time yet, baby. Is it not? No. So just looking at this old building here, folks, it says it was a lecture hall and school. Don't know how far that goes back, but oh now yeah, it's obviously look. it's a, a wine and a bistro. And this one was the York Central Mission Hall, right next to it. So old original buildings converted. What's this here? Laid by T.A. Booth, leader. Not sure what they mean. They're all laid, these... um slabs there say laid to yeah there's no dates though no there's no dates at all is no. there don't know what they mean Sharon but there's loads of little things like that which depict times gone past don't mm. we don't know what they mean no some lovely old buildings not Chinese here look right just bumped into uh, one of our subscribers Diane hi Diane oh, I did say hello, I wrote her name down but I, I thought well, why not just put it on video she didn't want to appear on camera did she get well soon John yeah John's at home apparently he's not so well at the moment so get well soon John and yes we did see your missus in York Market she said yeah, she lovely to see meet you Diane yeah anyway let's go on baby well, let's see what else we can find yes. right so here we are back where we started yesterday in the uh, York Gardens and uh, we've come back to this building here which we didn't actually pay any attention to, Sharon, no, did we? No, that was wolf, isn't it? Yeah, so just looking at this, folks, this is quite a grand old uh, piece of architecture here. And if you actually do come in here, you can read about it here. It was built by the 9th Legion back in AD 71, and it was used as a base from which to control the north, Sharon. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. That's the uh, multi-angular tower there. And uh, just looking above there, you can see the old pigeon up there, Shell, on the spikes and rails that's supposed to stop pigeons from getting up here. Doesn't work because there's one there. But look, there's ruins of St Mary's Abbey there. Yeah, that, but that abbey we looked at yesterday, folks, as you can see, is the ruins of uh, St Mary's. And it goes back to the uh, 1200, Sharon. Amazing, isn't it? Isn't and it? it's still standing. And bits it's still of standing, it, yeah. yeah. But look at the thickness of these walls here. Look, it's absolutely fantastic. Look. Anyway, shall we move on? Let's move on. So one thing to note as well, we've done a little bit of research and yeah. we found out that although it's £16 to go into the York Minster, you don't, there's ways around it where you don't have to pay. Yeah, if you're willing to sit through a service, you can get in for free, but there's many things that you could miss out highlighted in the building, but you can get in for free if you go to service. And on the street for that show, I think we've got to go and find a toilet, love. I'm bursting. Nothing new there. See you in a minute. <laughs> Well, this is an unusual shop, folks, the Imaginarium. And you've just been in there. Well, I started to go in there, Shad, didn't I? Mm. But I come out because of my blinking backpack swinging round, because mine sticks out a lot further than yours, doesn't it? Yeah. Turn around, let's have a look at yours. So yours is nice and slim, but if you look at mine, so as you can see, mine's a lot more sticking out here, Sharon. So let's have a little look in the shop window first, just to give people an idea. It's all sort of, uh, again, fairy tale stuff, isn't it? This is your um, Alice in Wonderland stuff, isn't it? Mm. Lovely, isn't it? And uh, coming through here, I'll let you just look through the door, folks. I don't know if you're going to be able to see much in there, to be honest with you. But very, very nice. Look at that. 
Yeah, very mystical. One to look at, shall we? It? it is. It's very good. Very interesting. I've never seen this before, though. Yeah. Shop like no, this. we haven't. Right. Okay. So what we got here then? Just walking down here, which is now the um, an Italian restaurant. This used to be the old assembly room, Sharon. Big grand building again, being multi-purpose for something else. And uh, there's a little bit about it over here. Look, this building was erected by the public subscription from 1730 to 1736. They had subscriptions then. <laughs> to the design of Richard Ball, Earl of Burnham, Burlingham. Burlington. And it is a York Conservation Trust property, Sharon. There you go. So that's probably how it's funded now. But I was wondering that um, a CAF or an Italian restaurant now is um, taking it over. They must pay the um, York Trust money to rent it out, I suppose. I don't know. Not sure how it works, yeah. Anyway, look at you standing all on your own over there, watching the world go by, Sharon. Get run over by push chairs. <laughs> So at the moment we're on Blake Street, which it says up there. Look at that tiny little window up there, look. Yeah, a little window right at the top of that term. There's a crack in the chimney. Little building there, Sharon, look. It's amazing, isn't it? Mm. And Blake Street apparently looks to be blocked off. They down all there, are the main things, You can't go down they? there, you've got a big barrier going across there, look. That's not the first one I've seen round here. Yeah, I don't know whether it's just for um, Christmas or... Because there is a road here, obviously, but... Um, that Imagine a lot of it is the old cobbles, isn't it? It might be the old um, Christmas time that is shut off. They I might just know. open for deliveries, smart now. And one thing to notice as well, folks, there's so many churches. Look, over there, there's another one over there. Not too sure what that one's if called. If I remember rightly, that was a Catholic church and we was here last time. All right. So, thank God it ain't raining today, Sharon. No, it's nice today. It's nice and mild, there's no wind and it's pretty warm as well. So, um, there seem to be a lot more people at the Christmas market. Look at this singing in the distance. There's lots of singing, Joe. There's lots of bell ringing. The street entertainers are out in the middle, folks. I think they're there all day. So, um, yeah, definitely a place to come. But I wouldn't drive here, Sharon, would you? Oh, no, no. Park just outside York. Oh, Apparently, yeah. you can get the uh, park and ride, mm, can't you? Yeah. So, we just crossed the road now. And uh, as Sharon said, this is the uh, York Oratory there, which is a Catholic, Catholic so, Church. So, Wilfrid's Catholic Church. Mm. And again, yet another grand building, Sharon. It is. It's lovely, isn't it? Look at the architecture there. On this one, as you can see, the Minster, York Minster, just in the background there, folks. Look at that, look. So grand, them buildings. You're going from confessions for 11.30 to 12, so if you want to go in I haven't got nothing to confess, Sharon. Well. I'm just saying, it makes you wonder, how comes there's so many churches so near to each other? I mean, as I say, you've got the Minster just over there. You've got the um, Oratory, Lady of York Oratory there. And just across the road from the Minster, you've got that other church which we went mm. in before over there. And that's just in this little space. I wonder why there, there's so many know, churches, actually. Sharon. Well, they're two different religions, so that's that one answer. But I don't know what that one, little one is there that yeah. we went in before. And don't forget, as we've come from down there as well, we've seen other churches down oh, there yeah. as well. All in that sort of inner wall footprint. So if you like visiting grand buildings, folks, then obviously this is the place to come because there's so many different churches bearing in mind you can go in the minster as sharon said earlier on providing that you go in for a service i don't know whether they're set times or whatever there will be yeah we haven't seen that we will probably one day go down there but that's not for today we're just having a good look around at the moment now it's less windy less rainy anyway let's get a move on Here, Sharon. Cat gallery. There we go. That's you found me. I'm cat number 22, and that's in the uh, the catwalk, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. There's quite a few cats around here. And it was introduced by the Romans 2,000 years ago, Sharon. And they love the cats. Charlotte loves the cats, and her mum loves the cats. Of course she does. Charlotte. Who's Charlotte, Sharon? 
Jimmy's don't know. other half. Jimmy's, and who's Jimmy? The future, Mrs. Butler. Yeah, how son's wife it to be. So we've uh, eaten this morning. We're not mm, actually hungry, no. are we? But uh, as I say, there's plenty of places to eat. There's loads, isn't You've there? got, like, literally the fat hippo there. You've got a place called Forest there, which is very nice. And, um... Oh, there's a York Sweet York Shop. York Sweet Shop over there. I think we had a look in that. Was that yesterday we had a look in that? I don't know, was it down this road we was on? No, that was the um, one where we saw the Turkish Delights, like old fashioned. Yeah, it wasn't that one. Wasn't that one, was no. it? Let's have a look over there yeah. anyway. A lot more people about today, shall There is there? a lot more. I suppose it's Friday as well, yeah. isn't it? So this is uh, probably oldie, weldy sweets in here, I would imagine. Have you got that Peanut one? brittle. Oh, I, used to, I like that. Yeah. A salted fudge. That box looks even old, doesn't it? Yeah, all these old, they look old, don't they? And that advert there looks like an old bleating advert from yeah. the 1970s or 80s, doesn't it? Martin, is it all jars in there? I it don't is, know, isn't it? Sharon, look, there. Don't... Yeah. There we go. Just stick the head in the door, folks. Look, it's all old jars of sweets, what they used to be. Do you remember them, Sharon? Look, them drumsticks. Old drumsticks, yeah. And there's the old bubble, bubble gum we used to oh, get back in the 70s. Hubba Bubba. No, not Hubba Bubba. That was the bubble, just the bubble gum it was called, wasn't it? Oh. Old biscuits. Yeah, look, Yorkshire tea. Yeah, look, bubble gum, lemon and lime pips. Remember them pips? Oh, used sherbet to get them? pips, yeah. yeah. They're called candy pips now. Candy pips, yeah. Yeah, so much. And looking in the background just behind you, Sharon, it just looks like an old postcard, doesn't it? It does, it looks lovely. And that way, so look at that little shop there with that beautiful wreath and baubles Where? outside. Oh, it's a jeweller's, Yeah, look. I thought well, I took a picture of that one yesterday. Although you can spend a lot of money, you don't need to spend a lot of money just window shopping and looking at all the different architecture and buildings yeah. around here, Sharon. Anyway, let's get a move on, baby, because we're taking root here. <laughs> so, one thing we've noticed as well is that a lot of the names in uh, York have actually changed, haven't yeah, they? They've yeah. updated them. For example, this one here, which says it was Lund's Court, formerly Mad Alice Lane. So it makes you wonder what went on down there, Sharon. Well, you meet Mad Alice, Yeah, you? but what was Mad Alice doing down there, Sharon? Google it. <laughs> Yeah. See if anything comes Come on, up. I'll know. Yeah. So we're just heading now back towards the main marketplace area. And again, more eateries on this side, Sharon. You'd never go hungry in York. Hey? You'd never go hungry in no, York. No, you wouldn't, would you? And as I say, a lot more street entertainers out today, Sharon. There. Fish and chips up. Yeah. That's where we went. Drake's fish and chips, Sharon. Very good in there, isn't it? Yeah. And there is a queue to get in this time as well, as you can see. Look at that. Look. Looks like there's a tour going on there, Sharon. Look, just in front, on the corner of the oh, shambles yeah. there. And just to note, some of these tours are actually free, aren't they? Yeah. But you've got to know where they are, so um, do keep an eye out for them. Some of them you do have to pay for, some are free. And there we go. What's this little magical it's shop a there? Potter shop. There's Dobby. Oh, I'll guess over there. Look at that. Look. Let's have a look, Sharon. Little Dobby there. Again, a little Harry Potter-inspired shop there, Sharon. The one's there. Look. Yeah. Is that a Nimbus 2000 broom he's on, Dobby? Yeah, I think that is, isn't it? <laughs> Just look at these old little low buildings here, folks. Look at that, look. Another ghost hunt there, Sharon, look. Yeah, so you've got a from there. Yeah, so you can book if you scan the uh, barcodes there. Uh, that one's on TripAdvisor, believe it or not. So if you want to find out that one, have a look at TripAdvisor, get a few... Um, reviews on it and see if that one's for you Sharon eh? I bet you got paid though as well and you so there's no prices there's there? no prices but no. yeah we've we've drawn the conclusion that you probably do have to pay for them and they all sort of start around 7.30 Sharon yeah. don't they? But then I suppose they've got to make a living haven't and they? And the duration so? for that one is 66 minutes and 6 seconds. You reckon 666 is the uh, prominent feature in that uh, yes, I description? Yes yeah. <laughs> So just coming through here just off of the shambles you see a shop you see a bit of a modern brickwork and then you've got this old-fashioned window Sharon yeah leading onto this old brickwork here and over here if you have a look here it said the upper story of this building was the meeting place for the York Methodists from 1753 to 1759 John Wesley Charles Wesley and George Whitefred preached here on several occasions during that time the actual room which the Methodists occupied was destroyed by fire and replaced by the present room in the year about 1880 and that would have been up there but now that's it's been done in, again, it's I would in say. worse financial services, Sharon. <laughs> there you go. Funny how things move on, isn't it? <laughs> Here's a lovely Tudor style building, Sharon. Beer house. It was what? The beer house. The beer house, that's what it is now, is yeah. it? Again, possibly original beams, I'm not sure. They would have been painted over, Sharon. They would have been like um, an oaky colour. Mm. Remember Lee Van Camp telling us that? Yeah. I think it was the Tudors who decided to paint them all black. 
And uh, <laughs> look, look, what? The rainbow flag. Oh, then, then of course you've got the rainbow flag, yeah. That brings it right down to the modern day. Right up to the 21st yeah. century, Sharon. There you go. <laughs> Right, we've just seen there's a lot of people on the streets here. A lot of them look quite young, shall mm. And look like they're pretty doing well off because they've all got Blink and Father Christmas outfits on. But there's one old boy we've just seen sitting over there who looks like he's really sort of down and out sort of thing. I just set the sham. We give him a few bobs, so um, just drew 20 quid out. We don't normally carry cash on this, so I just had to draw 20 quid out. I'll give it to him. He sits there, he looks like he's had our time. So uh, let's go and give it to him, shall I? Go on then. I'll, I'll let you him. stand back over here. All right. So see if you oh, can film. I love him. Hey? How are you, mate? All right. Yeah? Can I give you something? Yeah, can you give us something? Yeah. yeah, I can. Here. Thank you. Have a go at that. Is that all right? Yeah, thanks. Might get you something, mightn't it? Thank you, yes. Thank you. Look after yourself, yeah? Thank you. Nice one. It's sad, there you isn't go, it? little Very boy there. Look, he had an old sandwich next to him and a little can of drink. Somebody just bought me some chocolates. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't mind for people like that who don't, don't, definitely look like they need it, but as I say, Money is all you can really give him, isn't it? I know they say don't buy him a drink, don't give him a drink or whatever. But a sausage roll is for but he's got a, He didn't have cans of beer around him, he had a soft drink and he also had a like a sandwich, that's it. Mm. Normally you see him with tobacco, you see him with cans of drink around him and all that, but he was obviously very genuine, I would have thought. Anyway, just done that a little bit, make his life a little bit better, wouldn't it, for the day, if not tomorrow as well, Sharon? Hopefully, yeah. Anyway, let's move on, baby. Well, as we said, Shout, we've just found yet another little church here called uh, St Martin's with the big clock there lovely clock and just next to there we've found another blue plaque on the wall let's have a little look at that one and this was um po what does that mean prison, prison officer? officer can't be prison officer no it can't be prison officer eves may from 1919 to 1962 he was a free french fighter pilot from 253 squadron royal air force He's a pilot officer yeah pilot officer could be pilot yeah. officer yeah that's it yeah who uh, helped save york from the luftwaffe bombs on the morning of the 29th, April 1942. So, he, whether he lived there or not, I don't know, but if we actually look at this building, you can see how old this is. This old doorway there, for example, looks really historic, but it's leaning it outward, Sharon. Yeah. And one of the things you, you get there is, with old buildings like this, they put these, they used to be like crosses with metal bars going through them, but on this one, obviously, it's a longer piece of metal with a big bar. And just coming around the front of that building, that metal bar, would travel all the way through the floorboards to the other end, be fixed onto the other wall there. What, that bit that's sticking out? Yeah. And um, then you tighten the nut up, and that big bar there takes a span and stops the wall from falling outwards. Well, it's Just working. To, as you can see, it's leaning over a bit. Look, I'm holding that straight. You can see the wall leaning out compared to the uh, church spire there. So, yeah, that's uh, very interesting, Sharon, isn't it? Very. And uh, just one of many churches yet again in this small little area there. Look at that, look. Over there, well, look folk. at all them buildings, all hickety pickety. Look at oh, them. Oh, I love look. that word, yeah. Oh, yeah. All sort of different angles yeah. of leaning coming into the centre there. Look. Anyway, the bells are ringing, Sharon. For me and my for girl. me and my girl, and my <laughs> girl says we're going to go and take a little walk now and find the um, transport museum. It's a railway museum. Yeah, transport. And, no, it's a railway museum, Sharon. I think. The transport railways are the same Whatever. thing. Whatever. And apparently that's free to go in. We did try to go into that the last time we visited. Well, let's hope it's open. And I think it will be. So let's get a move on. Well, we just come back to this bridge shower that we were standing on yesterday. Yeah. And looking at the water line now, how much higher this water line is. Yesterday, them benches weren't under water. Under water. Let me just zoom in, folks, so you can see. Look at that, look. The whole row of benches over there, look. All under water. Yesterday, they weren't nowhere near up there, shall they? No, and up them steps, that little calf there, look. What is that? It's on the edge, sir. Yeah, that little calf down there, look. If you can just see over there, that's where you can actually sit and have a cup of tea around there. There's a little area for you to sit down there. But, uh, yeah, just looking at the expanse of that water, and it's all dirty and murky. It's moving fast and as well, isn't it? It is moving it? fast, Sharon, isn't it? Talk to the edge of the bridge now, Sharon, where that little calf is there, look, as you can see down there. You've got a little walkway there and the steps that go down, but obviously you can't get down there. There's one lone sandbag by the door down there. The floodgate, isn't it, that? And that's got a little floodgate on over there, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, look at that, look. I hope the damper, of course, works very well in that building, Sharon. Yeah. They probably didn't have them back in them days, did they? No, of course they wouldn't have, would they? Yeah. And there's the start of the wall, folks, the top wall that goes right the way round. And uh, Sharon don't want to do it today, do you? No, because it's wet and slippery, so I'm not doing it. Of course you ain't. No. 
Right, here we are. We found it, Sharon. This is the um, Railway Museum, which is quite a walk. Yes, it is. Because there's plenty of roadworks going on around here, isn't there? That's loads. It is situated by the actual railway station. Behind it, you suppose you could say. So uh, let's have a look, see if we can get inside and see what this is all about. Well, we're in Sharon and it still is free, isn't it? It still is. And just look at the size of these locomotives here. Didn't expect to see these in here. No, I didn't think that. But look Amazing. at these, look. Locomotives. I'm going up the steps. Go on, up you go, Sharon. I'm going to have a look in. It's a little bit dark in here, folks. I hope you can see all right. But we can have a little peek inside um, one of these locomotives here. Wow. Wow, look at this. You can't imagine that these things were actually on the tracks once. And looking in the cab there, I know it's a bit I dark for you there. They're this big. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Men used to stand in there, fire coal this into... This one's called the Evening Star. The Evening Star, look at mm. that. I'm looking over that one over there, Sharon. What's that one called? Edelman Lines. Might have the name Edelman around... Edelman Lines, that's probably the... might have the, the name um, around the other side. Yeah, but absolutely fantastic, folks. Look at that, look. The old-fashioned levers and things you used to have to turn back then, look. So, as Sharon says there, those are the original steps you'd have to climb up to get in there. Look, them three little steps there. And this is the evening style. Between 1954 and 1960, 251 of these engines were built. These are some of the largest and most powerful locomotives ever built in Britain. Look at that, look. Unbelievable, isn't it? And look at these, look, you've got these old cotter pins here, push through the uh, nut and also the um, bolt there to stop that undoing. Imagine these turning around at speed on them metal tracks that you see. And these pistons going backwards and forwards so fast. It's amazing, Sharon, isn't it? Just to see the size of them. And these are the pistons here, look, these would have been going in and out, in and out, look these chambers here. Eh? There's the turn where they bring them all in. Look, there's the tracks. Oh yeah, this is, this is a turning platform here. Look at that maze. Yeah, this would have been um, something where you put a train on and they spin it round and then it goes in the other direction. This is probably a, is that a diesel locomotive, this one? I'm not sure, Sharon. That's the King's Own Yorkshire like Light Infantry. Yeah, look at all these here, folks. Look for you to all, uh, look at. That's the evening style we've just had a look at there. Look Coming at around that. here, look at this old... Um, What's that there, there, look, this old engine here, look. How that piston moves in and out and spins that wheel by that hub there, look. Amazing, Oh, and Absolutely it's a shame amazing. you can't see inside. Yeah, shame you can't, you probably can so see inside, yeah. That's, obviously the, that's uh, obviously the rich and the poor, look. <laughs> Wasn't it? There's, um, there's a step round the other side, but turning round and looking at this one, with this copper, well, call it a copper kettle, that would have been a steam engine. That would have built up the pressure in that, Sharon and um, made this thing go. Amazing. Nice to see these sort of things preserved so that you see exactly how these things used to. You just didn't realise how big they were. No, that's right. So there you go, this is the uh, Liverpool and Manchester railway coaches from 1830, Sharon. And you can probably just see, I don't know if you can see folks, but how small the little doors are there which you would get inside. And inside you've got all sort of um, velvet seats in there, you can't see from this level. No, but, what's uh, showing that? Amazing, isn't it? That's beautiful, look, that. look. Look at the size of this thing here, look. You don't realise how much intricate work went into building these sort of things. This is from the Great Northern Railway. Well, well, <laughs> 1870. 1870, Doncaster. And although these have been all polished up, these would have had, um, I don't know if that would have been the oiling up point to oil that pivot up, but uh, they would have all had to have been lubricated manually by people and as you can see, that's the piston there, which would have uh, gone in and out at speed, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, turning the big wheel, which in turn makes the train move. Amazing. Then we've got the Flying Scotsman virtual reality experience around here. You can get a headset, Sharon, and um, have a virtual reality experience here, but uh, we haven't done that. So intimidating, these engines. And oh. again, they're all so different, Sharon. Yeah. Whereas everything now sort of looks the same, doesn't it? They're lovely, every one of them's lovely. So we just found this one, Sharon, which is in going to be restored, I would imagine. Yeah. It's a narrow gauge carriage from 1898. And as you can probably see there, look at the... If I get a bit nearer, you can see the state of these things when they 
they come in after Martin, you can see in being left out for years and years, and then they come into a place like this and. Uh, Look at the seats, how nice they look. Yeah, I, mean, I can't see them from here. If you come round a bit more, you can sort of see. Look, armrests. Yeah. yeah, but they're very, very small carriages, aren't they? Like velvet. Yeah, there's, there's one of the uh, doors there. Look how the blind's gone. Yeah. <laughs> but that will get restored, I would imagine. Well, it's, it's in the conversation. Com Come for what? <laughs> what is it, Sharon? <laughs> Conservation. Conservation, baby. In action. In action, yeah. Right, we just found a, a carriage here where we can actually look inside, Sharon. It's a bit dark though, is it? Very dark. Oh, I can't really see anything there, Sharon. No. No. Oh, hang on, I've got my phone, I've got my torch on. Yeah. Yeah, you can see a bit in there, Sharon. You can see a bit of the pattern in can't Yeah, you? I sort of remember seats like this. But I do. Again, they look a hell of very, very small, these carriages, don't they? Very, very small. But they were great, the noises of the door shut. Yeah, they? the big the... clunk oh, used to get a lovely off of these noise, doors. yeah. Oh, you can see in that one a yeah, bit. Yeah, again, more modern one. Um, that's a GWR diesel rail car, number four. And that's, nine, is it 1934, 1934, Sharon? 1934, yeah. 1934, that one. And there's more room in them as well. Look at the ending of it, look. The ending of that carriage, how it goes. Yeah. It's a bit like a modern train now, isn't it? Yeah. Right, looking at this one, Shell. This is the Eastern Countries Railway Coach, which is one of the um, oldest surviving railway carriages in the world. <laughs> it's wood. It comes from the 1800s, and as you said, Sharon. It's wood. The actual thing is made out of wood. Look at that, look. There must have been an emblem on there, look. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. There you go, folks. Didn't know something like this existed. It's probably the oldest one, as I say, in the world. Let's move forward, Sharon. Because it's got a, a locomotive engine here, hasn't it? Is it a steam locomotive, yeah. I would imagine? Yeah. Yep. There we go, look at that, look. There you go. How about that, folks? Look at the uh, thickness of them suspension leaf springs there look they're only short but they've got so many leaves there look amazing absolutely amazing let's just come back a little bit and you can see that in its entirety and that one's called lodestar oh that one well, i can't pronounce that word no. yeah boat site bow site 1874 so this one here is the mallard and holds a world speed record for a steam locomotive on the 3rd of july 1938 where it reached 126 miles an hour and let's have a little look inside the cockpit up there shall cockpit which you're having a look <laughs> what do they cockpit. call it i don't know no, it's not 126 a miles an hour look at this look they would have been shoveling coal in there look unbelievable and look at the levers and the pipes and everything Hurting along, and the modern trains which we've come on today, Sharon, they do 125 miles an hour as a standard speed. Amazing. So it just shows you, doesn't it? But they're powered by electric, where this was powered by uh, steam. When taking water, the scoop should be withdrawn when the water flows from the indicating valve into the funnel. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely amazing. And just behind it, we can look at an older carriage there where we've got the lights on inside it, Sharon. It's the fastest surviving steam hauled railway carriage in the world, set by the Mallard when the Flying Scotman, Scotsman hit 100 miles an hour back in 1934. So let's have a look at this. And again, this one's made out of wood as well, Sharon. But this one's lit up so you can probably see inside there, this one, people. It's amazing, look at that, look. If I can show you this end as well. I don't know if I can get in there, hold on. The, um, the workstation's in there, look. Amazing. Even the flooring looks yeah. still okay. Wow. Great, isn't it? Different world, Sharon. It's, I say, 100 years ago. We won't actually show you everything, folks. We think we'll leave it here anyway, because um, obviously if you do come here, you'd like to have a good look around yourself. Mm. And uh, we're gonna carry on, have a look around. We're very near the time for going home. But if you do come to York on the Christmas market, do have a look. Have a look around, take a bit of money with you, but you don't have to spend money, Sharon, really, because these sort of things are free. This is free. If you know where to look. I was going to say, it's worth every penny. It is worth every penny, Sharon. <laughs> Here's another little one for you, folks. This um, channel tunnel and muck truck, it's called, at the back there, was actually built in 1989 and uh, actually worked on the channel tunnel between 1990 and 1994. 
and help remove millions of tons of uh, rock from the actual tunnel itself. So the Channel Tunnel is actually the longest undersea tunnel and um, the boring machines used to bore out 250 yards of rock a day and uh, this thing used to shovel it all away. Amazing isn't it? Can you imagine that's been under the sea and someone in that little compartment there sitting in there driving this train day in day out up and down that tunnel and look how it's corroded over the years look absolutely amazing thing again history sitting there right in front of you folks all part of the world's longest undersea tunnel the channel tunnel right, bringing us straight up to the uh, 21st century folks this is a maglev railway which is a, a magnetic levitation which i think is out in japan sharon yeah. might be is it japan so these things actually hover on the magnetic force and very, very smooth. Coming inside this carriage, look at this, look. Is that the naughty room? Is that the naughty room, Sharon? Oh, crew. The crew in there, look. So just walking through here, first thing you notice is the space you've got in here, Sharon, compared to a normal train. It's more like being in a plane, isn't it? An aeroplane. But don't forget, this carriage, all these carriages would ride on magnetic levitation so they're hovering in thin air there we go that's a picture of them now look that's it on in action now look amazing they don't burn one out yep right come through the other end of it and straight back into the historic trains of yesteryear anyway thanks very much folks hope you've enjoyed this vlog don't forget to check out our, our other vlogs and uh, we'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now bye